Well, he was part of a notorious underworld, a lieutenant to the infamous Cleveland mobster Danny Green. His name Kevin McTaggart. And now, decades later, he wants his freedom. Tonight, in an exclusive 3 News investigation, our Rachel Polanski learned that this former mobster is now getting support from unlikely circles, including the judge who prosecuted him. Mobsters dominated Cleveland TV news for six weeks in 1983. Zagaria says McTaggart shot him twice in the head. When he went down to look, Segaria told jurors, Hans in his right hand had this cleaver, and he was chopping at Bostick's left hand. These names are synonymous with Cleveland's historic mob scene. Ruthless men in brutal times, killing with brazen callousness. Later, the surgeon, Brow's nickname, told Segaria he cut off both his hands as well as Bostick's head. Joking, Kevin's a murderer, but I can only get in trouble for malpractice. Legendary crime figures, Angelo Leonardo, Carmen Zagaria, Shonda Burns, and the Irishman, Danny Green. Cleveland had a very powerful uh, underworld, and there was basically a war for control. Few survived. Kevin McTaggart, in prison now for 38 years, is one of them. At age 64, he wants out of his life prison sentence, and he has a cast of unlikely allies, friends in high places, who are helping him. And that list includes the prosecutor who convicted him in 1983. McTaggart, a union iron worker's son, grew up on the city's west side, never marrying or even moving from his parents' home. He graduated John Marshall High School with, according to court records, a 1.8 GPA, a contradiction to his IQ score of 114. In the late 1970s, his life changed with a friendship to Irish mobster Danny Green. Very proud Irishman, Irish-American racketeer, and he was determined uh, to largely replace the well-entrenched Italian-American mafia with an Irish-American mob. Green came to power the same way he left it, in a 1977 car bombing, one of dozens that earned Cleveland the title of Bomb City, USA. McTaggart, Green's top lieutenant, carried on the drug dealing and killing under mob boss Carmen Zagaria. The FBI ended their run, and a young assistant U.S. attorney sealed McTaggart's fate. We were very pleased by the uh, results. We really had a great jury. They were very conscientious, and we think the result was justified by the evidence. That's Rocky River Municipal Court Judge Donna Congeni Fitzsimmons, who is now helping McTaggart in his bid for freedom. The judge even wrote this three-page letter urging McTaggart's release. In truth, I can conceive of no individual who personifies the heart and essence of this social and behavioral reality more powerfully than Mr. McTaggart. A former warden, other prison staff, even a small town mayor wrote letters calling McTaggart a model inmate, a hero to others. But just like the judge, none of the letter writers agreed to speak with us. He's an exceptional case. Uh... That's retired police chief and organized crime expert Rick Perello. He wrote the Danny Green book, Kill the Irishman. And he says McTaggart has paid for his crimes. I look at most of these murders, uh, uh, th these guys were players. They were not innocent victims of um, random, unpredictable violence. After all, he rationalizes, it was the business they all chose. Now, federal prosecutors have yet to respond to McTaggart's request. As for Judge Fitzsimmons, she released a statement to me earlier defending her letter. That, along with other letters of support, can be seen on our website. That's WKYC.com. Rachel Polanski. Three news.